प्रोड्यूस है Hi guys this what you see is a sewing machine motor this one and this knob that you see these are for the brushes which ensures that this one is either a dc motor or a universal motor because of the presence of brushes and commutation let's open it and see you can see that the brush is healthy let's check the other one hey i forgot if you are new to this channel subscribe it now for awesome content and videos like these yeah this one too and obviously the length of both of them are almost identical considering the fact that both of them were of an equal time period and guys after removing this final piece it becomes clear that yes it's a universal motor so guys this is an indian made motor and comes by the name of tullu pump okay well i have something here that fell out just fell out okay yeah the base push well i never like motors with bushes but uh, this one has bushes so i'm stuck with it the armature for universal motor is almost similar to that of a dc motor now comes the field winding so yeah this is the field winding what we have here is i think a dead spider yeah well maybe i'll look its skeleton under a microscope or something yeah and share an image with you guys too <laughs> okay cool Let's keep it aside too. Now in close up, here as you can see, it is printed type AC as well as DC, stating that it's a universal motor made in Varanasi, India. Well, guys, let's clean everything up using this WD-40 can. Link for which will be provided in the description. After placing everything back as it was before, let's check the motor if it is working or not. Now, guys, I'm going to use this. 60 volts dc power supply from an e bike charger as you can see that it is flashing 56 volts dc sparking is there and yes it is running super smooth <laughs> very nice very smooth operation Yeah, well, guys, the torque is also pretty good. Difficult to stop. Well, guys, now I'm going to run it at 220 volts. Uh, I mean, within the voltage range DC from 70 to 220 volts, and see how much RPM I can obtain. And I will have to hold this motor because of which I'm uh, wearing rubber gloves. Let's see. And after that, we are going to measure the RPM. Okay, time to turn on the supply. You can see that it has started running. Let's increase the speed. Increasing the speed. Increasing the speed now. more 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 Well guys here I'm placing this drill jug to measure the RPM with the help of a tachometer. Let's do the RPM measurement. As you can see that the machine has started and it is stating 3000 RPM somewhere around 3000 3000 RPM pretty fixed. Let's increase it. Well we have easily achieved 
4200 rpm let's go a little further again easily achieved 5500 rpm okay doing close to 7000 rpm let's take it a little bit more further Eight thousand RPM, more than eight thousand, eight thousand three hundred, more. <laughs> ten thousand RPM, guys. Ten thousand RPM, <laughs> more. Let's go a little more. I'm doing here close to eleven thousand RPM. Let's try a little more. Stopping it now. Now guys, in one of my previous videos that I made on a self excitation of a universal motor from a washing machine, I showed you its excitation the easiest way possible. So for that, I'm going to use this 12 volt UPS battery. Next what you have to do is run this motor with a DC source, not an AC but a DC source, okay? You can see that it has started running. Initially, when it was running on AC, the residual magnetism was zero because of changing magnetic poles. The pole which was initially north became south and then again north. But now that I've fed a DC source to it, the poles have a residual magnetism. Now using that residual magnetism, I am going to self-excite it without any external source. This is a bulb, you see, in Ganderson bulb. Okay, let's connect its terminals. Now let's turn the supply on and see if it gets self-excited. Okay. <laughs> you see that it is self-excited now. Cool, right? Okay, so starting the test now. As you can see that the bulb is not glowing. Now let's choose the previous method of battery excitation. Now let's try this way. Still not working. Trying with two batteries in series making it 7 volts. Battery has been connected. And guys, as you can see that the resistance of this motor is so high that this bulb is not even glowing a little bit. Well, this type of motor is super bad for generating electricity unless we force excite the field winding of the motor and get electricity from its armature or vice versa. So guys your question for today is why is it that some universal motors don't get self excited? Again why is it that some universal motors don't get self excited? 